Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's Monday, start of another new week, and uh, we're focusing on Thanksgiving, having a heart of gratitude in these days as we uh, get closer to Thanksgiving. We don't want to, so many people today, it just seems like they rush right over, forget, forget about Thanksgiving, rush over Thanksgiving and just kind of, uh, uh, you know, forget about it somewhat. And, and I, I think that's probably true uh, you know, a lot this year. I know several people are not going to be able to get with families for Thanksgiving, and uh, but it doesn't take away from the fact that we need we need to be thankful people. We we need to have thankful hearts, have hearts of gratitude that uh, uh, you know go before the Lord and and just let Him know all that He means to us. So so we're going through this uh, this devotional, twelve days of Thanksgiving, and uh, we're in day three. And uh, I try to make sure I've got the right day this time since uh, last week I started with two. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I, I think this is a, a good one for us, uh, especially in this day and age. It says this, it begins, On day three of our 12-day journey before Thanksgiving, I pray we give thanks to God, not only because His grace and mercy led us to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, but because He is near. The Lord is near, and even better, living within. Uh, this is one of the great truths of the gospel, one of the great, uh, I should say, one of the great truths the gospel makes possible. Uh, Jesus coming to earth as, as a little baby, and we're going to get into that and trying to make plans for Christmas right now. And, uh, you know, not sure what we can do, what we can't do, but just this reality that, that God is near. He came near in Jesus, and, and uh, we have a lot to be thankful for in that. It says his word says he provides a fresh bubbling spring within us, providing us eternal life. Today, take a moment to recall times the spirit within brought refreshing. This refreshing may be in your thoughts, emotions, will, or physical body. In times of feeling the drought of the dry places, contemplate all the ways the Lord was within and near and how he restored your soul. Give thanks and a shout of praise. Now, Think of folks in your life. How has the Lord refreshed you and extended a cool drink of living water to others around you? Think about your marriage, children, parents, siblings, co-workers, gym partner, teammates, coffee dates, or out and about in the marketplace. Thank the Lord for any recollection he may call to mind. Uh, and I, I think those are two kind of really wonderful things to think about as we prepare our hearts for uh, or have a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of gratitude, is just just thinking about all the ways the Lord has blessed us with his presence, blessed us with, with uh, I like the, the thought there, of a cool drink of living water. And um, scripture passage of that is the woman at the well, and we'll, I'm going to read a, a little bit more of that in a minute. But, but just to think of all the times that the Lord has visited us when we were in need. And, and I know I don't know about you, but for me, he's done it several different times in different ways uh, throughout this coronavirus deal. You know, this whole year, uh, there's been times where I'll be down or whatever, and the Lord will come with a, a scripture verse or a song, or he will, uh, someone will call and encourage me in some way. And just, just in different ways, the Lord uses uh, different ways to 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 refresh us, to to show that he is is near to us and aware of of all that we're going through all that we all that we need in these days and, and it's good to think of how others how the lord's working in others lives as well and and in how god uses others to refresh us as well both of those things are, are really important uh to to just be aware of so often we go through life and, and we go 100 miles an hour and we we forget to pay attention forget to notice when uh, you know uh when others do nice things for us and refresh us. I, I just think that's something important for us to do. Well, the, the devotional goes on and says, finally take a moment to see and embrace folks within your circle of influence who may be in need of a fresh drink of living water, the quenching only Jesus Christ can provide. Write down their name or names and pray. Thank the Lord for bringing their name or face to mind as someone he cares about and trust you to extend a drink to. This offer may be through prayer, a kind word, holding the door and pressing in to stand as a light uh, as a light post, never leaving their side until their thirst has been quenched. Lord, we thank you because though uh, but through because through us you will offer a quenching of the soul 
and people everywhere will tell of your mighty deeds. And so, so who then not only do you think about who you've been blessed by, you know, you've been blessed by the Lord and ways that that's happened, but, but also think about ways that you can bless others, that you can return the blessing. You know, I always, I love that, that sort of analogy. The Lord blesses us. We are blessed by it. And then we pass that blessing on to, to others. Uh, it's an important, important part of the Christian life. And again, the, the story of the, the Samaritan woman, I thought I'd just read part of it for you uh, today as, as we think about this. Again, this is Jesus uh, coming to a woman that was very different than he was. And, uh, you know, very, uh, uh, she's a Samaritan and, and not a Jew. And, and Jews and Samaritans didn't ever want to have anything to do with each other. And, and so here he is visiting the Samaritan woman, coming near to her and meeting her needs. Uh, it, we, we find this story in John chapter 4, starting with verse 1. It says, Now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John, although in fact it was not Jesus who baptized but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back home once more to Galilee. Now he had to go through Samaria, so he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, uh, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well it was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy some food. And the Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asked for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. He would have given you a refreshing Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. I just ask you, do you know do you know Jesus? Do you know the spring of living water that he gives us when he is present with us, when he is near, when we are aware of his presence? Because really that's the bigger issue. So often, I mean, the Lord, is, is his spirit is everywhere and, and is always near. But, but are we aware of it? And, and it's good to just sit back and think, how has the Lord given you a spring of living water in your soul, a refreshing and you need to be thankful for that. That's that's kind of where we we take this is is you know allowing it to be thankful us to be thankful in our hearts for for how God has been with us and refreshed us. Uh, another key verse from this passage or related to this devotional is Psalm seventy five verse one. It says, "We praise you, God. We praise you for your name, in capital letters. Name is near. People tell of your wonderful deeds. The Lord is near, and we praise God. We give him praise and glory for that. Well, let's pray together as we close. Lord, we do praise you. We thank you for your presence with us, Lord. Help us to, to always be quick to thank you, to recognize your presence, recognize that you are near to us and, and your love for us, and you are so good to give us that refreshing, that blessing of your presence uh, when we need it most. And, and I, I imagine there's somebody watching today that, that just need to be reminded of your presence, need to be reminded that you are offering us a, a cup of cool water on a, on a difficult day, a difficult time in our world. And we thank you, Lord, how you're working and moving, Lord. We uh, uh, just ask that you'll continue in, in helping us as we deal with the COVID-19. Uh, we, we pray that you will uh, well, we thank you for, for reports today that the one vaccine is 95% effective, and we pray that you will uh, continue that process of finding a solution to all of this. And we, we just pray that your blessing on doctors and nurses, your blessing on those that are, are uh, dealing with the virus, that, are, that have it, that are getting over it, that are waiting on testing, Lord. We, we just keep bringing them to you, and we just pray that you, you would uh, be near to them, uh, nothing better than your presence uh, to help us in time of, of need. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you for just all you've done, all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. In the strong name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.
Amen. Well, thank you for watching today, and we'll be back tomorrow with a, another word uh, of thanksgiving. Uh, so we'll see you later. Goodbye.